So conducting the research, what was the first thing that you really had to do to, to get this in, into motion? Well, the first thing to do is come up with a hypothesis or a research question. So why study the invertebrates in two different areas in an urban environment? So you'd have to come up with some sort of hypothesis that perhaps there's more invertebrates in, in the leafy habitat than the, in the grass habitat. So that was one of the initial ideas. And then just to have a baseline set of data so that we can build on in the future. And the first thing to do, once you've got your research question, if you're interested, and you've got lots of people interested too, you need to go and present to the council or whoever manages the land before you go out digging holes or collecting litter. So that getting permission is very important too before you start a study. So that's a real issue when you're going out into the field just to make sure that you're you know, not getting, getting into trouble, trespassing or things like that. That's right, particularly if you're working in parks, in national or state parks, you have to have permission to both track invertebrates and also to do any sort of scientific research in a national or state park if you want to publish your data. And you certainly, if you go out to the trouble of collecting data and it's really interesting, you want to make sure that people know what's going on.